Hello, I'm Jay Cody, and this video is the introduction of a new tutorial series, which will be learning how to implement Steam implementation and API into our Unity game using FacePunch Studio Steamworks. Let's get started. First of all, search for Steamworks FacePunch. Normally, the link will be in the description, and there is the GitHub repo. You click on it. You can either take the last release or go to code, download zip, press OK, wait for the download. Once that's done, you can decompress the file. Then go into this file and open it up with Visual Studio. Then you press in the whole solution and you press generate. This will generate. Once it's generated, you can back get back to the folder. Go into unit Steamworks, then debug. You will select net 4.46. Then you'll copy all these file. Go back to this folder, Unity plugin and paste it there. Now you can close Visual Studio or this instance of Visual Studio. Then this Unity plugin you can pass it into your Unity project. After that we can make a script called Steam Manager. Let me just quickly delete that and open up the script in Visual Studio. Now we can start by making a public uint and call it app id and then make a new void the await method and pass in a don't destroy and load like that we don't want to destroy this and this will switch in the scene so like that it will always um, even if you switch scenes etc it will always stay uh, active now you can make a try catch so obviously what to do it will try something here and if there is an error well we'll catch the error here and to catch the error we can make system that exception e. we'll use that later here we can make steamworks dot steam client not in it and here we'll put our app ID and we'll pass in true because we want to have callbacks. After that, we can debug.log and say Steam is up and running. If there is a catch, so if there is an error, we can simply simply debug the message by doing debug.log e.message now we edited the client what we'll do next it's we'll make a new void called an application exit uh quit an application quit yep and here we'll pass a try catch we don't need to catch any error now and here we'll just make steamworks dot steam client dot um shut down yep and we can say well we, you can say a little message but it's not really obligated <coughs> after that make a new empty call it steam manager and put the script in it for the app id i'm gonna use my own app id from hammer sandbox so to get it um i'm just going to get the app ID but of course you can use your own app ID which is what you should do <laughs> by the way if you didn't wish this at hammer sandbox on Steam is my game it's a sandbox uh, it's a sandbox game you can wish this it right now and now if we press play you should see Steam is up and running and you can see here that I'm currently playing at hammer sandbox which is cool so this is how you can set up steam 
in the next tutorial we'll use the the uh, some basics api then we'll uh, go in advance you can say in the comment section if you need something that's to do with steam i already have a lot of thing planned with steam you can say if there is a bug or whatever i'm happy to help it was jcode see you in the, see you in the next tutorial